guess where we are? We are here with Tiffany Sahorsky and Jonathan Guerrero in Moscow at their training rink. Mm -hmm. Tiffany and John, nice seeing you. How are you? Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> uh, so you just had the test skates. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel? Did it go for you? It yeah. went well. Yeah, it went not bad. I mean, uh, I think everyone's read the news by now. Uh, with everything that went on, we didn't um, prepare for a very, very long time and everyone knew about quarantine and everyone was off for three months. So, I mean, in general, for everyone, it was difficult to prepare for a new season. Um, but with what we had, I think we did yeah, a pretty I good think, job. <laughs> I think for us, the most important thing was to kind of get ready and we understood that it was important um, to show ourselves after, you know, like having such a long break. So no matter what shape we were in, we knew we had to go. So I think uh, we had it planned out that, you know, this isn't uh, an exhibition, it's not a competition, it's a test skate. So, I mean, all the technical things and the nuances, you know, our competition's in a month and a half, so we have time. So it's just about pleasing ourselves, the crowd, and just having a good time. And I think uh, in Novogorsk, where we had uh, almost two days with the judges, we basically showed everything and people saw some quite a bit of improvement and in different aspects. So I think that was the most important thing for us. So what do you think you've improved the most? Or what did the judges tell you you've improved the most? <laughs> Connection. We, we spent a long time and I think also what we talked about was, you know, being uh, so far apart and, you know, like, uh, and only talking through Zoom and things, it got us to, I don't know, start thinking about our skating and our relationship and how everything is on the ice just in a different way. I think we kind of, when we skate a program, we have a different, I don't know, attitude towards it yeah no I mean in general like when you see someone every single day and then suddenly you're so far apart and like you don't see each other and everyone's in lockdown and it's kind of like you know you lose that that thing so when we came back it was like we had a fresh, fresh breath there and yeah. and we felt different and we had so much to tell each other and do and yeah just in general that I think has kind of transformed into our skating and how we present ourselves on the ice and technically what was good I mean we kind of consider ourselves quite a technical couple but it was good to hear that people saw more improvement in that which yeah. was great to hear so um yeah i think we were actually very content when we knew that whatever happened at the test gates i mean honestly with three weeks preparation anything can happen so <laughs> yeah. we were quite happy with just the way that we had our camp and that we showed things people were happy with the progress that we made so those extra two days was just a bonus that we had quite a good shot and the free for what it was was also good it was crowd, uh, crowd pleasing yeah, everybody it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, and you you kept uh, the programs for now. So, mm -hmm. and you uh, was it because of the lack of time, or um, what's your plan? I think it's a combination of things. It's also well, obviously, we didn't have uh, the usual four months we have to make new programs, and on top of that, uh, this season it's not clear yet uh, what is going to happen if there are even going to be Europeans, Worlds, etc. So, uh, we definitely know we're going to have a Russian season. We know everyone loves our program, <laughs> and I guess with time it's gotten better because we've worked on it longer yeah. so I mean we kind of like this program and also I mean, we never me, got to, yeah, yeah. And, and also with this uh, program the theme of survivors it's like we survived uh, the quarantine <laughs> yeah. and everything so it kind of fits as well and I mean everything's still open like up in the air so I mean we uh, it's probably unheard of to make a program this far in the season but it's also unheard of to have a season during the pandemic so I guess maybe it would fit perfectly to make a program <laughs> randomly in September October but um, we're still working on it the options still there we're trying to work out the logistics and how it can happen and if we do it will we save it for this year or will we make yeah, a the Olympic yeah. program and so there's a lot of thoughts out there I think we're just taking it step by step just improving ourselves and what we do on the ice and mm -hmm. whatever program we'll make I hope the Wardens will love it and the judge too. Yeah. Well, I, I certainly don't mind that you kept your programs. <laughs> I did, uh, really like rewatching them and seeing them grow even further. Um, the situation you already mentioned it uh, is very unheard of and new and different. How difficult is it for you as athletes to deal with that, that you don't know exactly which competitions you can go uh, to? Well, I mean, for us personally, we've kind of had experience with this, yeah. uh, our Olympic season before. We kind of ended up each competition not knowing if we're going, so we were kind of preparing with the possibility. So I think it's pretty much the same mentality now that we have a possibility that we will have Europeans and Worlds, so we should train as if we're going to definitely yeah. have them. And 
and then if they don't happen, well, at least you got ready, and then... And I think it makes sense with, I mean, even when we started out our partnership, I mean, there was yeah. the release <laughs> and, and, and passport <laughs> issues, and also we were just preparing and hoping that this competition will be allowed to, and then it didn't quite happen, mm -hmm. so we waited a few more months, mm -hmm. and we were always just used to kind of semi getting ready to peak, and then, you know, it's yeah. okay, you know, we'll go work down, then we'll peak again, <laughs> you know, like, so um, I think that it's, it's part of sport, I mean... I think in every single sport people have so many ups and downs and competitions and I mean with with the situation at the moment with the pandemic I think mm -hmm. everything's just very understandable. And in Russia was the situation was also pretty tough with the restrictions now it's, it seems a little bit better how how do you feel Uh, right now about the situation in, well, in Russia? I mean, we personally and with our coaches, everyone, we're still trying to be extremely serious. I mean, we're trying to go in masks everywhere and like keep our distance, etc. I mean, what, what you can do. But at the same time, we're kind of trying to get back to some form of normality. Yeah. I mean, we're lucky to come to practice and be in a safe environment where we can come and train. Um, so I think that's the, the main important thing for us, even if maybe we don't get to live such an open social life where we get to go yeah. everywhere. But yeah, at least we can train. I mean, so. just... I think when you outweigh the pros and the cons and you have a look at it in a global sense about like everybody else like we're in it all together mm -hmm. so I mean all of us have friends and family and everybody's a different age and m some people are more vulnerable so I mean it's not that difficult to put on a mask in public transport <laughs> and to just social distance I mean you don't have to sit at a restaurant everybody like yeah. this I mean, like, you can have some distance and still have you know, um, un more or less normal, normal life. life. I mean, just so. walk in parks more. <laughs> That's yeah, it. And, I mean, and I think also, like we were talking with Tiffany, that the actual lockdown, I mean, as stressful and as many negatives that it did bring, it did bring a lot of positive things. Like, I mean, I think everybody that I've talked to, the majority of, I don't know, my friends mm -hmm. and everybody, like, people took the time to read books that they would never read, watch movies that they like, do crazy things that, you know, it gave us an opportunity to have a look at the different aspects and just, you know, relax and not um, just forget about the usual rhythm. Like, you know, you're always nine o'clock practice, you know, you finish this, you know, yeah. relax. And then you just had a time to be like, well, what do I want to do? What do I like? And yeah. And I mean, for me, as a personal note, I had three months to really rest my body and i needed that <laughs> i mean after having knee problems and whatever uh for me it, it really helped the, mm -hmm. these three months to to fully let everything let my body heal you know so i, I for that i'm thankful too as well so now you're in a very good shape and your knee is not bothering you anymore hopefully not fully there yet but <laughs> hopefully yes soon <laughs> yeah and yeah tiffany as we know you uh, unfortunately you caught the virus yourself so how scary was that Yeah, it was pretty nerve-wracking because, I mean, you know, you think it's kind of happening to everyone else, but as long as it doesn't happen to you, you kind of feel like you're in your safe bubble. And then it kind of, someone just went like, tick, and burst it. And I was a bit surprised and, and, and shocked. And yeah, I didn't I didn't feel so great the, the first, I think, 10 days or so. And then when I started feeling better on the other side, I was pretty positive because I, I didn't have a really bad version. So uh, for me, that was the most important. And now, like, I mean, touch wood, uh, Uh, I seem to be healthy and I went through all the medical tests and checkups and everything so yeah let's let's hope that it doesn't happen and luckily he didn't get anything so <laughs> <laughs> no but um, I mean the good thing is that in most of the training facilities I don't know how it is in the rest of the world but in Moscow like to come to the rink you have to provide a medical like the uh, coronavirus testing, yeah. you know um, sometimes it's once a week sometimes it's less I mean obviously it's not like you, nobody can be super safe but at least it brings some kind of Yeah. comfort and um, and they measure your temperature in the door and like they look after you and if you have any like bad symptoms you don't feel well like you don't come to mm -hmm. the rink so and so far every everybody's been very respectful of that like I mean even people that just had what looks like the common cold you know they didn't come to practice yeah. mm -hmm. so. be safe just for the coaches as well yeah yeah but uh, so you have to do a corona test like every week more or less something like uh, that yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it, uh, luckily it's not really, I mean, it's not a big deal, those no. tests, it's, yeah, yeah, I, I've done it a few times by now as well. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, let's just, uh, for the the outlook for the season, as we know, is not, but what maybe, what kind of goal do you set for yourself for this unusual season? Well, I think, uh, as a person, I'm saying for the both of us, but I think in general that this year, because it's so, like, unusual and we don't really know what's happening, I think 
in our heads, everyone's kind of thinking, okay, well, there's this year and then next year's already Olympic season. So this is pre-Olympic season. So what do you normally do during the season? It's like you're preparing yourself mentally, like you're getting in shape, you're thinking about that next year. So I think, as John said, with the program, we don't know. We're still in our heads. We've got that in the back of our heads that we need to prepare for that. So even if this season doesn't fully yeah. turn out as a full season, we're still getting in shape, getting ourselves ready, working towards our goals. And I think that's probably the main goal of the season. I think so. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, when competitions come, the drum comes, you know, you want to, obviously every single, I think, athlete that's in a healthy mind wants to be the best. I mean, as realistic as that is, I mean, I think everybody wants to be their best and compete with the best. So, I mean, I think this year we just want to raise our bar as high as we can and see who we can actually compete with if we skate to our full potential and are healthy and actually have the chance to do that because I mean very often we have different situations that stop us we yeah. skate the best for ourselves in the circumstances that we have but I mean to actually just actually skate the best that we can without yeah. any circumstances I think hopefully this will be will this and next year will be the seasons that we can actually do yeah. that Tiffany and John, thank you so much uh, for thank that you. interesting interview and uh, we wish you the very best of luck for the season and uh, stay healthy. Thank you. <laughs> and looking forward to seeing you competing first at the Russian Cup Series and then hopefully also at other events this season. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.